Good morning. This is the Devil's Advocate Live, and thank you for joining us this Friday morning. I'm McKenna DeSilvio alongside Dominic DeRose. Thanks, McKenna. Today we have stories about the Diverse Voices Poetry Cafe, a special feature with our school research officer and some NBA playoff predictions. We also have another special class of 2023 feature. This time we asked them what advice they would give their freshmen selves. Last Wednesday night, people gathered to read and appreciate the power of poetry at the third annual Diverse Voices Poetry Cafe. And reporters Aiden Peake and Anthony Berkey were there to cover it. Poetry is a language at its most distilled and most powerful. This was true for students who performed at the third annual Diverse Voices Poetry Cafe. Ms. Grace, who organized the event, believes in the importance of the spoken word. The event is meant to celebrate creativity, language, public speaking, and personal expression. Multiple students from all educational backgrounds coming together to share language, but also inviting their parents, caregivers, friends and family to share in their academic experience is really important. Over 16 poets read at the event, which had a coffee house vibe featuring music from the high school's jazz band and refreshments. Many works were inspired by personal experiences and observations about life. My three pieces of poetry have a lot of significance to me um, and meaning because they're about my dad. So both of my poems did mean a lot to me. Um, Bird, because that's my nickname, so I thought I might as well share it with the world, let everybody know who I am and what it means to be considered a bird. And Thantophobia meant a lot to me because losing people in my life, I've developed a fear of that and I thought there was no better way to convey it than through poetry. My poem was about not knowing what to say and feeling like you're saying, like you're saying the wrong thing a lot of the time. And the inspiration behind mine was frankly the fact that I get myself in trouble with a lot of the things I do say. Um, so I wanted to write a poem about that and about how it's not intentional and how I want to be good with my words, but I'm not most of the time. My poem was called Tarnished Blood, and it had a lot to do with me and my family because I was talking about my brother and my relationship with him, which hasn't really been the best. And the Poetry Cafe gave me an experience where I could talk about that openly and it made me really comfortable and it felt really good to get my feelings out there and open. I was really shaky up there, um, but I always get shaky. I could barely read the words on the page because I was going like this. But overall, it was really fun, really liked looking at everybody. First, it was kind of nerve-wracking, but there was a thrill to it to just say what you want, just what you wrote and what you put your, your heart into. So with that thrill, it just makes it all the better. Those who attended found the words poignant and moving. I like how there's a lot of students that I've never seen before, and I like to know that they have this interest, and I think it's interesting to hear their poems. Um, I like hearing a lot of the people's different stories. Um, I think it's really cool to hear their sides of everything. For The Devil's Advocate, this is Anthony Burchie signing off. Looks like it was a great event full of talent and creativity. It does. Our next story takes a look at someone who works in the building each day to make our school a better place. Who is this? The HHS SRO Officer O'Neill. We learned more about his role when he sat down with our own Emily Kleins. What exactly is an SRO? A school resource officer is a sworn law enforcement officer who works within the school setting either part or full time to work with young people and help protect students. Let's get to know Officer O'Neill who has been law enforcement for 24 years and has been the high school SRO for three. Because when there's trouble in the school, I'm here. I mean, I want, I'm here at five days a week. What I like the best about my job here as an SRO officer they're allowed to help the kids out. And it helps the kids see an officer in the school it helps them out, stops from problems happening. When Officer O'Neill isn't out and about helping in the hallways and cafeteria, students can find him in his office by Jim A. Thanks to Emily for that story and to Officer O'Neill for his service to our school, students, and faculty. In sports news, our high school teams are in the middle of their seasons. But in professional sports teams, in the NBA, they are competing in the playoffs. Just who will make it to the NBA Finals? 
HHS basketball fans are calling it now. Sebastian Pangia has that story from the hallways of HHS. The NBA playoffs start a little bit back, so we're just going to go around, ask him to who they think uh, is going to be in the finals. Sixers and Lakers, Sixers and Six. I got Sixers versus Warriors, Sixers and Six. Sixers and hopefully Nuggets, just so Embiid could smack around Jokic in four. I got the Suns and the Boston Celtics, Suns and Six. I'm going Sixers and Suns. Uh, D. Buck and KD probably gonna take the win, but Joel Embiid's pretty good, so MVP, it's gonna be close. MVP. MVP. Sixers Suns finals, Sixers and four. Have the Philadelphia 76ers beating anybody in the Western Conference? It doesn't matter. We have to win it this year. This is literally it. Joel Embiid, MVP. Uh, Warriors Sixers, uh, Warriors in seven. Nobody gonna guard Steph on that team, so it don't matter. Lakers versus Celtics, Lakers in seven, LeBron's the GOAT. Right. It's uh, the Golden State Warriors, all the way, baby. You know, the Cavaliers coming out of the East, obviously. And then uh, going up against the Denver Nuggets, the, the greatest player in the league, Nikola Jokic, MVP, three-peat. Uh, and then, you know, Jared Allen, that's light work for him, so Cavs in four. The Knicks coming out of the East versus uh, Lakers coming out of the West. It's going to go to a game seven. And then Julius Randle, the GOAT, is going to hit a step back uh, game-winning three, and we're going to win the finals. That's what's going to happen. I mean, I think uh, Golden State and uh, Sixers. Bucks, Suns, Bucks, Warriors. It's either the Suns or the Warriors coming out of the West. It's the Bucks and the Celtics coming out of the East. Sixers will lose in the second round, as always. The Sixers. The Suns. I hope somebody's prediction comes true. For everybody here at the Devil's Advocate, I'm Sebastian Pan, just signing off. Time will tell who makes it. I did see that we have a lot of Sixers fans in the building. I'm not sure if, the, if we can put Mr. McCarthy in that category, <laughs> though, based on his response. I'm not sure if I would either. For our last piece today, we look again at our seniors. <laughs> who are inching closer to their final days of high school. In this installment, Riley Ruberton and I asked them what advice they would give to their freshman selves. Hi, I'm McKenna DeSilvio with The Devil's Advocate, and today we're going around asking 12 seniors what advice they would give their freshman selves. Uh, try to pay attention and actually do your work. Don't stress it and just pass. Uh, come to school on time, stop missing school days. I've been missing too many days, so I tell my freshman self to never miss school again. I think I just tell myself to like pipe down and like stop caring about what other people think because I still kind of have a problem with that. But I've gotten a lot better since freshman year. Budget your days of absence because right now I have to make up every single day I miss in summer school. Not to wear ugly clothes and know where your classes are. My um, advice I would give to my freshman self is not everybody's your friend and choose your friends wisely. Don't stress the fake friends. Two words, good luck. My piece of advice to my freshman self is to not believe the seniors when they tell you there's a swimming pool on the third floor. This is McKenna and Sylvia, thank you for watching. I hope some of the freshmen now take note of some of that wisdom. Be sure to check out our website at hhsdevilsadvocate.com or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram for news stories and all you need to know about HHS. I do too. Thanks for tuning in. Later today we have another episode of The Devil's Advocate Live with new content during period 8. Be sure to watch for some stories about prom, Earth Day, and the Phillies. For myself and the rest of the journalism staff, have a great day. Be sure to tune in period 8 for another show later today.